Dr. Finn says about 60,000 hip revisions are performed in the U.S. each year. He says only the time will tell how long the new hips will last given this newest technology and technique. Now, treating cancer that began in the liver or has spread to the liver can often involve months of chemotherapy and painful radiation treatments. But now, there's a new procedure that takes tiny beads that carry a high dose of radiation and sends them straight to the cancer cells. Marty Salt is back with the details. When Richard Dowling was diagnosed with liver cancer at 76, he figured doctors would focus more on his comfort than a cure. You don't have much of a choice, either you accept it or you don't. Instead, Richard's doctors recommended a new form of treatment. It uses tiny beads called microspheres to deliver a powerful punch of radiation known as Y90. It allows us to have a vehicle to deliver high-dose radiation to a cancer inside your liver without having that radiation go elsewhere in your body. Dr. Charles Gilliland says a catheter is inserted through a tiny incision in the groin and threaded through the arteries to a blood vessel in the liver. The more blood flow the tumor gets, the more beads with high-dose radioactive particles get deposited into the tumor. We gave him an extension of, on life, and that's really important, and it's critical. It's a one-day non-surgical procedure. In Richard's case, the microspheres killed his liver cancer completely, but that's actually not typical. Most of the time, the tumor still wins. Most of the time, it's not a curative treatment, but it's an opportunity to give patients additional time. And when you've been married for 52 years, time is the most important thing of all. I'm Marty Salt reporting.